Hello everyone, this is Abhijit. Today we are here to solve some problems on material acceleration, material derivatives. First problem goes like this. Given an unsteady temperature field, capital T is equal to xy plus z plus 3t Kelvin and unsteady velocity field, capital V is equal to xyi plus zj plus 5t k. What will be the rate of change of temperature of a particle at a point 2 comma minus 2 comma 1 at time t is equal to 2 seconds. So this is our problem. <clears throat> Here we need to find out the rate of change of temperature at a particular point in space and time. Now what is given to us is the temperature field. The equation of temperature field goes like this and the equation of velocity field is given like this so equation velocity is a vector quantity so it is written as v is equal to ui plus vj plus zk where u v w are the velocities in x y and z directions so here we can understand that u is equal to x y v is equal to z and w is equal to 5t right so this is uh, this is known to us now in order to find out the rate of change of any property we have to apply the total derivative or material derivative or substantial derivative anyways you can call it so only we should remember the operator like suppose first we will write the operator d dt is equal to del del t plus u del del x plus v del del y plus w del del z so this is the <coughs> complete equation which will give you the total derivative so this particular thing operator here is called as a total operator total or material operator this here is called as the temporal operator or temporal derivative or local derivative and this particular rest of the equation is called as convective derivative or convective operator so it means that the rate of change of any property can be due to its change with respect to time or it can be with respect to space so in to account for the change with respect to time this operator takes care of that del del t and in order to see the change of that property with respect to space this particular operator will be useful so the addition of both this will give us the total or total change with respect to time so we'll, we are going to use the same equation here to solve this problem so what we have to do is just whatever property we want to find out whatever properties change we want to find out just put the property here like now we want to find out the rate of change of temperature so simply we will put t capital t here in this equation so this equation will now give us the rate of change of temperature with respect to time that means the total rate of change of temperature so similarly if you want to find out the rate of change of any other property you can simply put the property in this operator or you can apply this operator to the property and you can get the change fine so now let us solve this
so <coughs> we will solve the same equation is equal to so differentiating this t with respect to small t we would get 3 because all other variables will be treated as constants we are taking the partial derivative with respect to time so all other variables will be treated as constants plus u del t by del x so plus u is our x y into del t by del x would give us y plus v del t by del y or v is nothing but z and del t by del y differentiating this temperature with to y we would get x plus w is 5t and del t by del z is giving us only 1 so this is our equation 3 plus x y square plus x z plus 5t now we want to uh, find out this rate of change of temperature at a particular point in space and time so putting those values of space and time we get putting x is equal to 2 y is equal to minus 2 and z is equal to 1 and t is equal to 2 we would get 3 plus x y square that means 2 into minus 2 square plus x into z so that is 2 into z is 1 plus 5 into t is 2 so calculating this we would get 23 kelvins per second so this is how we can calculate the rate of change of any property here we have found the rate of change of temperature Similarly, we can find out the rate of change of any property by using this material derivative. The second problem is visible on the screen now. The problem is like that. Problem says that a velocity field with no components in y and z directions is given by v is equal to 6 plus 2 x y plus t square into i the acceleration along x direction at a point 3 comma 1 comma 2 at a time t is equal to 2 seconds is given by a 8 units b 16 units c 28 units d 36 units this is the question where we need to find out the acceleration in x direction given the velocity vector so how to solve this problem before solving this problem we should remember that uh, this is the Cartesian coordinate system where we have three axes x y and z axis now the unit vectors along x y and z axis are i j and k the velocities in x y and z axis along the x y z axis would be u v and w so now we are given that the velocity vector is v is equal to 6 plus 2 x y plus t square i so it has no component in y and z directions it means that the velocity in x direction u is equal to u is equal to 6 plus 2 x y plus t square now we want to find out the acceleration in the same direction again in order to find out the acceleration we will use the total derivative of velocity in x direction with respect to time so acceleration in x direction would be total derivative of u with respect to time 
again this is equal to we will again rewrite the operator first you know you don't need to remember the formula just we need to remember the operator it goes like this first is the temporal operator so del del t plus then the convective operators u del del x plus v del del y plus w del del z now as we want to find out the acceleration in x direction we would put u here u here u here and u here if we solve this equation we will get the acceleration in x direction so let's solve this now is equal to del u by del t so differentiating small u with respect to t we get 2t plus u into del u by del x i will write u 6 plus 2xy plus t square and into del u by del x that is into del del x of again u that is 6 plus 2xy plus t square plus v del u by del y and w del u by del z but as v and w are zero here you can see there are no v and w components so it is zero so equation will will be reduced to only this much so i'll again simplify ax would be 2t T square y t is two, so two square into y is one. So solving this equation, we get a x is equal to z directions. It means that the velocity in x direction u is equal to it will be thirty six units. So in this way, we can find out the acceleration in say any direction just by using the total derivative or total derivative operator or material operator so d is the right answer to this question the third problem is on your screen now it says velocity in a flow field is given by v is equal to 4x cube i minus 10 x square y j plus 2t k the velocity of the particle at 1 comma 1 comma 1 at time t is equal to 1 second is a 3 root 30 b 2 under root 15 c 2 root 30 and d 5 root 30 now this is a fairly simple question because here what they have asked is only the velocity at some point and uh, no rate of change of any property uh, has been asked so it's quite a simple problem so what we are given is the velocity vector 
v is equal to 4 x cube i minus 10 x square y j plus 2 t k this is given to us it means that u v and w components of velocities in x y z directions would be u is equal to 4 x cube v would be minus 10 x square y and w would be 2 t so at a point at point 1 comma 1 comma 1 at t is equal to 1 seconds the x y z components of the velocities would be let us calculate u is equal to 4 into x cube x is 1 that is 4 b is minus 10 1 square into y that is 1 it is again minus 10 and w is equal to 2 into t that is 2 now the magnitude of velocity the magnitude of the resultant velocity would be given by v is equal to under root of u square plus v square plus w square so that is equal to root of u is 4 so 4 square plus minus 10 square plus 2 square so that comes out to be 2 under root of 30 therefore the velocity magnitude of velocity vector would be 2 under root of 30 so c is the right answer